Hi, Good Life Guy here. It's great to be in Aspen, and it's really great to take a break for one and enjoy some great beer. Mark Strobrandt, Master Beer Sommelier, is with me today. We just had a great lunch, Mark. Beautiful beers from Belgium. Thanks so much for being a part of The Good Life today and for being here in Aspen. Absolutely. It's my joy and pleasure to be with you guys. Aspen, food and wine classic, beautiful weather, great food from Louisiana, but even better, the Belgian beers. Yeah. And, uh, and now, Mark, you live in England, but you are from the home of the best beer in the world. Born and bred in Belgium. Uh, only a Belgian master beer family could talk about these great beers. So I, I, I agree. And yeah. it's a very difficult job. I know that it's really a lot of hard work for you traveling around drinking beer. It's a, in one hand, it's a hard, hard job, but you know, being with you guys, you know, makes it so much more fun. Okay. So what I do really as a master beer sommelier is, first of all, I had to go to school to learn how to drink beer, um, and I did very different courses uh, to train about beer, taste beer, and very much what I do is travel around the world to talk about various Belgian beers, like Stella Artois, um, but explain to people what the beer is, but in a fun way, and talk about the flavor of the liquid, and then obviously what you can do with food to it, it as well. Well, and you know, that's the fun part about Aspen. Last year we had Chef Tim Love cooking all manner of wild yeah. game. That was a beautiful dinner. Today, a little New Orleans slant. Great yeah. job here at the Sky Hotel. John Bech did a wonderful job. It was great as well for me to demonstrate the three Belgian bits we had with the Stella Artois, the Le Favon de Hougan, how they worked with all the different dishes. And um, I've seen a lot of happy people just chilling out near the pool, you know, and keep drinking and enjoying these different beers. Yeah. So. Stella has grown so much in popularity in the last decade. Let's talk a little about the beer, where it's from, how it's made, and better yet, let's get a pouring demo too. Well, Stella Artois is a real genuine Belgian a European style lager. Okay. So it's different than the Czech pills or the German pills. And it's been around, it's been brewed since 1926, originally as a Christmas beer, but the brewery has been around since 1366. Okay. But this great beer from Leuven, Belgium, we call it the beer capital in Belgium, um, produces this Stella Artois. And also with the pouring, you'll, you know, every Belgian beer, different glass. Different glass. And the people make a lot of mistakes, they immediately sort of tilt the glass. Sure but I want to have a big frothy house on top of it. Belgians like to have a lot of foam on top of the beer. So what we do is we start straight, pour the beer, and then we chill it to a 45 degree, making sure we put some nice foam on top of it. And as you know, there's a reason behind it. Well, it's not just because it looks pretty. There really is a, a drinking to the foam provides Absolutely. the best example. So what we do, simple thing, anyone can do this, take a plastic spoon. What you do is you taste the foam, and I know what's coming, but most people pull their face, you go like... It's a little bitter. It's a little bitter, and also that dryness. You taste the, fo the hops, and foam is the best place to taste uh, the hops. And the hops add bitterness and dryness to the beer. Yeah. And then when you drink it, so dry, and excuse me, I'm, well, I'm really looking forward to tasting it as well. Now we have the multi sweetness and the hoppy bitter dryness. So you have that nice balance of the two, and it tastes great. It's a Belgian lager pills which means we have a sweet, bitter, dry flavor, while the German and the Czech ones will have a reverse that tastes more hoppy bitter. And this is what a lot of people like, this balance of that malty sweetness and hoppy bitter dryness. And you've tried it. We did it last year, to this year as well. Great to go with food as well. I just finished yeah. up my course with the this beautiful pork dish using oh, pork belly and, and the, oh, not only did it look pretty, but and people think, oh, pork belly and it's just pig fat. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. And when you have it with this beer, it is just a magnificent thing. And that's what beer can do. One thing beer has above wine, and I love wine as much as I love beer. Beer offers refreshment. Yeah. And with dishes like the pork belly, what it can do is the hoppy bitterness can cut through that richness, bring out all the great flavors of that pork belly dish, but also many other dishes as well. And also you have that balance of flavor, because a lot of people think this is not going to work. The pork belly is going to overpower the cell as well. No, we didn't. This is it's a big not. beer. Absolutely. Mark, what a pleasure to have you here in Aspen. Someday I hope you can get to pass through uh, Wichita. We'd love to have you host a dinner there as well. But more importantly, safe travels. And uh, let's uh, say cheers to Stella. Santé, like we say in Now that's the good life.